People who've seen nice people finally snap, what happened? I had just started high school, and there was a new kid, I was from a one primary, one high school town, so all the kids already knew each other. He was a giant aboriginal kid who was quiet with no friends, so my friend and I befriended him. We always chatted to him, and he was so lovely, always softly spoken and generally just so nice. Like holding doors open for us and bashfully smiling when we would go out of our way to be friendly to him. Anyway, he started getting picked on by the bad boy of our grade relentlessly. One day he snapped and beat him up with a garbage can and was expelled, and I never saw him again. I mentioned this in another thread. Samoan friend. Happiest, most friendly guy you ever want to meet. Some guy said something about his sister and of course it made him mad. My friend went after him and caught him. Punched about three times and we realized he was going kill him. It took three of us normal sized guys to hold his arm back from hitting the guy one more time. We told the other to run, like run fucking now. He did. Our friend was mad at us for a while for stopping him then he went home. The next day it was as if nothing happened. He just went back to being a super nice guy. P.S. I forgot a couple days later our friend's big brothers, big brothers, were looking for that same guy that got the crap beat out of him. I don't think they found him, but never did see him again. My best friend had lost his mom to murder a few months prior when we were in the 10th grade. Somehow he had pulled himself together just enough to start going back to school. I don't know how he handled it with being an only child and growing up without a father, his mom was all he had. A kid that thought he was popular that got on everyone's nerves cracked wise to my friend's face about his mom's death, what he said isn't exactly sure. My friend threw him on the ground and punched him in the face multiple times. The end result was a broken nose, a broken left orbital, and my friend got kicked out of school. We were very grateful he taught him a lesson but saddened it had to come at such a high cost. She was an assistant manager and was known for being soft-spoken. At a manager meeting one of the general managers, who was known for being a total jackass to everyone, was going off on how every store should be run. Well, she snapped. You have the highest turnover rate out of any store in the district. You can't keep employees for more than six months before they just quit all saying you were the problem. Maybe you should take that advice you're giving us and use it on yourself. Edit, wow. I didn't expect this to blow up and thank you so much for the silver. So for anyone who's invested in what happened next. She put in her two weeks not even three days later. The manager who she yelled at was transferred to a different location out of that district. The store he managed has since bounced back and has been doing very well. Had a friend. Jerry, in year 12 that was 7-ish and Jerry was massive, he had some sort of giant's disorder that made him huge, recently he had been getting a lot of shit about his mother dying, one day Jerry just had enough, he proceeds to pick up the bully who was at the time and fling him several feet like he was a bag of feathers, then he goes up to him and picks up each leg and stomps on them like they were twigs, that crunch sound was horrible. Next time anyone talks shit about my mom, I will make you fucking suffer I believe he served a few months in jail, had some community service, and had to repeat your 12. The bully ended up in the ICU for a day for his legs and hip, he landed on it, and needed to use a cane for a long time. One of my middle school friends, whom we'll call Bob, was about a half foot shorter than everyone else. Everyone was around 5 feet. He was an interesting, in a good way, dude. Interested in learning, played video games, was great to hang out with. But he looked scrawny. Didn't look like he could hurt anything if I'm being honest. For some context to the story, our gym teacher was an asshole. Gave nicknames, some good, some bad to everyone. He was always sarcastic. Always berating everyone, speaking down to us instead of encouraging them. One day the gym teacher says something about Bob's mom. Which Bob's mom had fibromyalgia and some other conditions making her weak and unhealthy not by choice. And something in Bob snapped. Bob completely took down this 6.5-foot monster gym teacher. Gym teacher looked like he stood no chance at that time. They were quickly pulled apart and Bob got expelled and had to move school, 
while the gym teacher was fired for fighting a student and being an overall asshole. Edit, on my first silver, thank you.